Hello, my name is Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my September book haul. Now here in South Carolina, it is still hot. It's hot all the way through September and into October. So I basically wear shorts and t-shirts almost all year long. I actually haven't worn my thick winter coat in three years. So yeah, so that means that the door is open, the fan's going, air conditioner's going, and Dylan's of course over there chewing his toys. So when you hear that crunching noise, that's Dylan and he looks like this if you haven't seen him already so of course he's too cute to say no to and he gets very upset if he can't be included in things so there you go but i'm going to show you some books today and that's what we're all here for so i've split this up into books sent to me by publishers and books that i was gifted or bought myself so yeah let's just jump right in so first up we have books sent to me by publishers so thanks to all of these publishers for sending me their books i wouldn't be able to do my job without it and they are just so kind in doing that uh, so yeah i just really appreciate it first up is one person no vote by carol anderson and the subtitle says how voter Suppre suppression is destroying our democracy now carol anderson wrote white rage which is a book that came out a few years ago also from bloomsbury and she wrote an essay in jesmyn ward's essay collection the fire this time and that's how i discovered her and i went and looked for more of her books because i thought that she was just so intelligent so smart i just oh she's just so good at what she does but I learned that she teaches at a university here in South Carolina. So I'm hoping in this book she uses an example from my state so I can actually see how that works uh, because there was a big deal about, you know, IDs and voter registration and being able to vote with IDs and just a whole mess of stuff that happened a few years ago. So I'm interested to see her take on it because she's just, just so smart. It's just when you read her books, you just like, how is someone so smart? You know what I'm saying? You're just in awe. And I love books like that. I love learning from people and just, I'm just gonna stop. Just gonna stop. That's why I love nonfiction. So yes, so definitely go check out uh, Carol Anderson if you haven't already. She writes a lot of amazing things. Next up is a book from Riverhead. They always do amazing designs. And this is Flights by Olga Tukarczuk. And she won the Man Booker International Prize with Jennifer Croft, her translator. So Olga is really popular over in Poland. And I have a friend over in Poland right now and I was like gushing about this book. And so she actually found it in Polish, sent me photos. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. but. Riverhead has did an amazing job with this and this book totally overturned my Women in Translation Month TBR and I am going to read this first and I found it on audio as well. One of the great things about Riverhead is their design, like I said, and if you can see that, that is textured on the, the actual hardback and it, the texture mirrors the design from the, act, from the book. Oh my goodness, they did such a great job. So if you haven't already, definitely go check out this book. Speaking of design, the next book I have is from Doubleday and it's coming out in 2019 and it's a book you probably have already heard of and that is The Water Cure. Now this has been long listed for the Man Booker Prize. This is by, wait for it, Sophie McIntosh. It's in very tiny print on the side. The back of this arc has the description, if you can see that, sort of. Uh, but yeah, this is a very haunting arc. You can see the UK cover is very similar, but I'm very excited. I heard about this book actually in 2017 when one of my bookish friends, Agata, told me about the book and that she was most looking forward to this book. And I saw it wasn't being published in the US, so I put it on my like, you know, keep an eye out for. But I'm so glad that someone picked it up and it's going to be published in 2019. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. The next book is a finally out in paperback, and that is Joan Silber's Improvement. This is from Counterpoint. We love Counterpoint. We. Royal We. I mean, Autumn and I love Counterpoint. Is she now part of my Royal We? She doesn't watch my booktube channel, so we're just going to keep moving. Uh, this is Improvement, and this is a book that won both the Penn Faulkner Award for Fiction, but also the very tough critics at the National Book Critics Circle Award. They are very tough on people when they like choose books, I feel like if you get past them, you earned all of the things because yeah, they're very intense. Anyway, point being that I'm very excited about this book. It totally passed my radar because it came out in November of 2017. I missed it, but now it's out in paperback. Very thrilled to finally get a chance to read it. So a special, special thanks to Counterpoint for sending me this paperback edition of this book. I'm very excited. So another book I'm excited to receive from the UK, and that is the Fairlight Moderns, and this is Bottled Goods by Sophie Van Leeuwen. 
and this is set in a communist Romania. The author is from Romania, she's now living in Germany. Now I went to Romania as, and as a teenager, actually part of my dad was on a humanitarian trip over there and I just went tagged along being a teenager and I just really loved getting to know the people there and eating with them and we went different parts around the countryside and in the city and everywhere and it was just a great experience and I feel like that's the first country that I ever visited outside of the United States and so I feel like when you visit somewhere you're always interested in reading more about that country but for whatever reason I have never read about Romania I've watched documentaries and different things and read like articles but never any fiction I should say from Romania or by Romanian author so I'm very excited to finally dip my toes into this and hopefully find more books after reading this one about Romania or by Romanians uh, because yeah just the more I read the more I realize I need to read you know what I'm saying I feel like this is just gonna be the story of my life I'm cool with that I'm fine yeah so really excited about this one it's supposed to be like a magical realism type story and you all know I love those that's a lot of story for just one book okay so this next one is a tome and that is Ninth Street Women Five Painters and the Movement that Changed Modern Art by Mary Gabriel. It's out from Little Brown. This comes out in September. Uh, September 25th, I think, is what this arc says. This is obviously a chunker, but it's about how these women affected the modern art movement. Now, I love reading about how women have affected art movements of various kinds, so I'm all over this, but it, it looks like a really intense kind of academic read. Hopefully I'll be able to find the audiobook. If not, it might take a little longer for me to read this, but I mean, look at that. That's just, that's intense. So, but still very excited about it. So next we have Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon. This is out from Scribner. Now everyone has heard about this book. The UK edition is that pink and yellow squared cake, which I'd never heard of until seeing that, that cover. Uh, but it is a book about a woman who has fallen and she kind of has these flashbacks. Now I've heard that this book is kind of sickly sweet, which sometimes I want. I read really intense books and I want a break. I want a more escapist read or just a feel-good read and I think this will be that. I really enjoyed uh, The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon, which came out in 2016 here in the U.S. So I'm finally getting a copy of this and I actually really do love the U.S. cover of this book. How cool is that? So I will stay tuned. So the last book I have sent to me from publishers is Ponty by Charlene Tail, and this came out in the U UK earlier this year and there has been a lot of buzz around this book since it's came coming out in the US now as well about how this is not a known voices book. This is about a Chinese Singaporean woman writing about a minority ethnicity in Singapore so I'm very interested to see what happens with that and yeah it's just there's just so much buzz around it. I'm very interested in the publishing story and yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So now a few books that were either gifted to me or that I bought myself. First up, I have to show you this book, finished copy of Whiskey and Ribbons. This has a beautiful like vintage faded cover and I'm not sure if you can see this, but it has a textured book and then it has her initials embossed on the cover. It is really beautiful. Hub City Press did an amazing job with this. That's pretty cool that they have produced this book. Uh, this book is about a woman in Louisville who she is a ballerina and her husband is shot in the line of duty. He's a police officer and so it's like the aftermath of that and a lot of stuff. I reviewed this over in my POC-a-thon wrap-up so you can go check that out if you want to learn more about this book. So next up I have is Autumn found this copy of A Guide to Being Born at a used bookstore. This is by Ramona Osabel, also from River HUD as well. Um, I read Awayland, which is her most recent collection, but this one seems to be the booktube darling and I know Joss of Scoobles reads I think this is her favorite short story collection, so I'm very interested to finally get a copy and read it for myself. So now for some book exchanges. Uh, I have a book club. It's called Lit Mail and we are an around the world book club and it started through Litzy, which is an app you can use for books on your phone. But anyway, uh, we do book exchanges. So I have a few books here. So in one of the exchanges, I received IET by Roxane Gay. This is a reproduction that Grove has published of Roxane Gay's original short story collection, original, her first one. And it's also an audio. And I know Matthew Sharapa recently did like a walking audiobook kind of thing for Hunger, her memoir, and then he added this at the end. So I'm very interested in getting an audiobook. It's actually pretty inexpensive from Audible, so I might be going that direction. But 
yeah, very much looking forward to finally reading this. And in another book exchange, um, I received the D Dud Avocado by Lane Dundee. I've never heard of this book before, but this is one of those Rago modern classics. And oh my goodness, it these are just beautiful. There's like the foiling, there's the French flaps, and then on the inside there's all of the other ones. So this right now means that I have three of the Baker's Dozen, so I have ten more to go. So yeah, I don't even know what this is about, but that's fine. I'm just going to go into it blind. I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, I just love these. I just love these additions. Oh, they're so good. And last, but certainly not least, is in the book exchange, I received this box set of the new covers of Neil Gaiman's uh, works. He, they did these weird, like, old, cla like, I would say old timey wasn't that long ago. It's those really vintagey 70s and 80s fantasy covers, and they redid some of his main books in this kind of cover. So I have American Gods and Nancy Boys Never Were in Stardust. Incidentally, I don't own any of those, even though Neil Gaiman is one of my favorite authors. For whatever reason, I just hadn't picked anything up yet. So I am so excited to finally own copies of these. So when I finally get to Nancy Boys and Stardust, the two I haven't read, I'll be able to show them to you. How cool is that? So I'm just so excited about this. I squealed and like started screaming and Dylan thought like the world was ending, but that's fine. Neil Gaiman is always worth it. Okay, so that's it for me. I think that's enough to be getting on with. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that haul. What books that I haven't read do you think I should pick up soon? I'm very excited for them. There's just so many wonderful books coming out and I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.